Okay, the last video. We are going to update from 711 update 1 to 711 update 4. This should be a pretty straightforward process. What we're going to do is what I just did very quickly. Uh, I'm going to go to control panel, then I'm going to go to update and restore. Then I'm going to do a manual DSM update. I'm not really sure why it says your internet, check your internet connection because I do have internet connection. Um, maybe it's because of this is Xpanology, I'm not sure. But what we're going to do is a manual DSM update file path of my local computer and it's this Broadwell and Broadwell NK is the update for so let's just click that let's click OK 10 to 20 minutes Do you want to continue yes That definitely was not 10 to 20 minutes, but we'll see how long the reboot takes. So again, I've had ping running this whole time with that command uh, ping and then the IP address minus T or dash T. So you can see it's still pinging now. We should hear a beep here in the next probably 10 seconds. And that's the computer rebooting. And around the same time, we'll see the ping drop. Yeah, it looks like it might be doing some other updates on the uh, on the shutdown hmm this one's taking a little bit longer there we go now we should hear the beep so that one took about two minutes to do whatever it needed to do there's the beep uh, to do whatever it needed to do updating packages as it was shutting down services updating those services before this reboot. There we go. And we're back. So far pretty painless. I'll give it till uh, the seven minute mark to refresh this this page. Ooh, interesting. So I applied the update 4 patch and it says we've detected you have moved drives to a new ds3622 xs plus please click recover if you want to recover your data and settings now hmm 42962 yeah so that is update 4 hmm Interesting. So same thing. That was a pretty quick reboot. You could, it should beep. Yep, there's the beep. Okay, so we're back up and running. I'm a little nervous. That's a little odd. That uh, said I needed to recover. Ooh. We've detected you've moved hard drives to a new DS3622XS. Uh-oh. Looks like we're in a loop, a recover loop. Okay, so I did update to update 4 <clears throat> manually, and I keep getting this error. I've now rebooted twice, and I keep getting this error, and I was clicking around. Oh, worried that I may have messed something up. <clears throat> and, uh, gosh, if I could find... Here we go, right here. So, TCRP... Uh, I may have to do this right here. So I'm going to reboot and run these commands real quick. So let me... I have my little helper here on dad duty, so that's probably who, you, if you hear something, that's what it is. Making a mess. Well, it looks like I won't be doing it through SSH, so I'll have to do it manually. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll just get, I'll, <laughs> I'll use this to re restart it, and then I'm going to click over <clears throat> with my keyboard that goes to that. I'll have to do this manually. 
So when it reboots, I'm gonna have to quickly scroll down to Tiny Red Pill Image Builder, I think it's what it's called. I do not want it to boot into, into the USB stick. So there's the beep of the reboot. Hold on, honey. I know, Daddy and his projects. Okay, so yeah, Tiny Core Image Build is where we want to go. I know you guys can't see this, but it looks like it's going to boot into it. <clears throat> yes, it is. Okay, and then what commands do I need to do? I need to do RP... Oh, updating. <clears throat> RP loader dot SH update. And we need to do a post update. I'm going to probably have to come back to that one. Oh, you know what? I may be able to SSH into it now. Interesting. I know. Hold on one second. For some reason, network didn't come up again. Apply. So, yeah, for some reason, DHCP didn't go through. Let's try it again. There we go. <clears throat> TC P A S S W zero. There we go. Okay. Everything looks good. Let's try this one. There we go. Two prompts. Do an exit check dot reboot and cross my fingers. There we go. Oh, that was quick. And my child is throwing around my garbage can in a recycle bin next to my desk. Okay, so let's go back to ping. So you can see that dropped. You just heard the beep. It rebooted. I think you heard the beep. It is pretty loud. What I'm hoping is that we do not get that recovery message again and it actually boots into the Synology GUI. Hi. I know. Yeah. So if this does work, I think what you sh what the proper process would be is to uh, do the manual update through the uh, down, manual download of, of the PAT file, applying it on reboot, then going to the mini uh, red pill image builder. Okay, so we have ping uh, and a child that wants attention. So let's leave here. Let's hope for a login screen. No login screen. <laughs> Rut row. It, it, it could still be updating. What are you doing? Yeah, I know. Daddy, all your, your projects, they take so long. Interesting. So it actually rebooted into the Tiny Core Red Pill loader. Which is odd. Can we not touch that? So it may actually save. I'm, I'm curious if it saves where you last. If it saves where you last selected. So I, the last I selected was Tiny Core Red Pill Image Builder. It does. Yep. So that's what happened. So it just reselected Tiny Core Image Builder. So I'm going to scroll back up to USB. Hit Enter. My child likes to play with my mic. And now my keyboard. Okay, starting kernel with USB boot. Now I can go back to my PC. Display. Okay. Okay, it's now pinging, so that's good. Hi, honey. Hey, let's not press keys. Let's not press keys. Let's not scratch the mic. There we go. DHCP. I'm probably not even on the camera, which is okay. 
There we go. Look at that. We are back at the login screen, not a recovery screen. Log in. Check my volumes. Everything looks good. Yep, looks good there. If I go to uh, Control Panel Info Center, there we go. 711 update 4. That's it. We have successfully updated 623 to 711 update 4. Awesome. Again, if you guys have any questions, problems, issues, feel free to comment. Uh, I will get to them as quickly as possible. Thanks, guys. See ya.